Hello guys and welcome to Steve Knows. We have a ton of virtual reality news stories to go over. Things like how are Oculus creating even better virtual reality visuals on weak hardware? It's genius. We've got robots running convenience stores with virtual reality, new games and so much more. Let's dive in. So you may already know that I'm a massive fan of RPGs and there is a new one available on SideQuest that dropped on the 27th of June that makes use of Oculus Quest hand tracking. It's early days and has an aggressive roadmap. It is like a demo for now, but you'll get an experience where you can try out classic turn-based roguelike RPG gaming in virtual reality using your hands to navigate menus, purchase potions, upgrades, other items, and attack the enemies. And there's no need to stand up either. This can be a sitting experience. Something that's a nice touch, but it's still limited, is you can control your fate. You have choices in this game. You are a prisoner in a magical prison, and you have one chance to escape. Let's talk about more games coming to the Oculus Quest now. We have Wonder Glade. It's coming as soon as next week. This is an old school mobile virtual reality title from Resolution Games. You're at a carnival and you have a bunch of mini games to enjoy. Although the original title was free, this one has been revamped, it's been updated and will contain all of the additional content that they provided up to this point. And it's going to cost you $14.99. This isn't really my kind of game but you may enjoy it. You may have children, you may be good for families, you may be a newcomer to virtual reality, and you'll get to try these carnival games that are just so over the top. You have mini golf, you'll be putting out fires, casting magical spells, playing basketball. Kobe! Let's have a quick note now on the new redesign of SideQuest. SideQuest is getting a facelift, a makeover. The Fab Five are giving it a once over. And I don't mean that literally, by the way. After a submission on Reddit was posted, we got insight into this new design and it looks very professional and modern. It still has the same style, so you should be able to navigate if you're used to the original design. You're not gonna have any problems there. But what's noticeably different, what's changed is the thumbnails. They're much smaller. You can now fit more games on a single frame. That's fantastic. I'm not sure when it's going to be coming. The post did say soon, but SideQuest did comment on it saying that they are working on new discovery tools to improve the experience for developer and user. And what I find funny about this is it's kind of looking better than the official Oculus Quest store now. One of my favorite stories now is how Oculus are going to create high-end visuals on their limited hardware. This could be the future of standalone devices right here, and it's just so good, it's genius. So Facebook just posted on their research website on the 1st of July some work that had been going on regarding real-time rendering, trying to get the best visuals possible out of limited hardware. Because in virtual reality, we aim for photorealistic graphics, we want high resolutions, we want high refresh rates, so improving this rendering process is extremely important in achieving that. You may already know that Facebook in 2018, they did start a project called Deep Focus, which had recently just had some advancements in this area, and I want to share them with you. There's even a white paper that they wrote on this that somehow got posted in the future. I'm not sure how they did that. So they are taking low resolution images as an input, and it's outputting a high resolution image. They are currently achieving 16 times better resolution, better visuals than we have seen before. So they are taking low resolution images, putting it through their pipeline, and then we're getting a high resolution image at the end of it. And that effectively means is that we only have to render a really crappy image before it goes through the pipeline and then outputs a buttery fresh one, allowing our hardware to push out more frames and better textures. Upload VR said that this means, for example, a future headset could theoretically drive 3K panels but only render 1K per eye without the use of eye tracking. This model is being trained with supervised learning, which basically means that they know the end state that they're trying to achieve, and they're then running inputs through the algorithm trying to reach that target end state. And they have tons of examples in their research paper. I really look forward to seeing this work being used in our headsets, helping to create even more stunning experiences for us to enjoy in virtual reality, to take VR to that next level, especially in our standalone devices in the best way possible. The people making this technology made a great point as well, that we keep pushing for higher resolution displays, but we need stuff that's going to help drive those high resolution displays. And this is the solution that's possibly going to do that. Dreams really do come true, but why does Sony keep getting all the good stuff? This hit game Dreams is getting virtual reality support, and this is huge. 
In Dreams the Pancake Game, we saw incredible creations and games from the community that they had created. And now that functionality, the possibility of, of content is being transferred to the virtual reality space. This expansion is coming July 22nd, and it's for PlayStation VR only. I do find it really upsetting that this kind of game that has this potential and can have a big impact in the virtual reality space is going to be limited by the PlayStation hardware. But if you've got PlayStation, you'll be using the Move controllers and will be able to try out the new sculpting tools that lets you create objects with an intuitive and a more physical interface than you may have previously used. This was announced after Media Molecule posted on Twitter showing a nice teaser trailer of this virtual reality game Dreams and it looks like fun. This is the kind of virtual reality game where you dive in and you won't ever want to leave as it's got high quality community content that is forever growing. I sure hope Sony and Oculus share this exclusive because they do share some exclusives or said that they were going to. I hope this is one of them because that would be a great move for the virtual reality space. Oh, and, and Iron Man VR, I would like that one as well. If you haven't checked out Dreams before, you don't know what Dreams is, go do it, go check out Dreams and think about how this is going to be in VR, it's epic. So we recently spoke about codec avatars from Facebook in a previous video that they have been working on trying to create these characters that have accurate expression and photorealistic visuals that we can use in virtual reality and they look so damn creepy. Well, they've been working hard and they've been trying to remove that dead eye look that we have in gaming. So the avatars no longer look like they're going to eat us the first chance they get. These avatars are created using 132 cameras to create an accurate map of our face but once that's created we only require three cameras to track the mouth and the eyes to create that natural expression there's recently been a release of media that show us the improvements of this and the eyes look photorealistic now as well we can finally look into each other's soul in vr chat but what i like most about this is the enterprise applications to have that realistic expression and that eye contact with staff across the globe is seriously huge in big corporations we won't be getting this anytime soon but it's just nice to know that Maybe one day, hopefully not too long either. I love this one so much. You can always, always rely on Japan to push the boundaries, be creative and adopt something special. A new report on a Japanese convenience store that they are going to be run by robots that are controlled by employees remotely using virtual reality. This is going to be rolled out in at least 20 branches by 2022. So there's recently been a partnership between Family Mart and Telexistence, and I guess they just started talking about this. What it's supposed to do is improve on work flexibility for their employees. They are first going to examine the operation costs and gather feedback before rolling this out everywhere else. There is a video showing off these robots and it's quite a funny advert. I don't even think they intended it to be amusing, but this robot is being controlled with someone at home and it's a surf shop and it's just, it, it, it tickles me. <laughs> so the robot's controlled using a Vive headset with three Vive trackers for body tracking and a pair of Manus gloves to track individual finger movement. And man, what a job. What do you do for a living? I control a robot in virtual reality at the local convenience store. What? <laughs> I may have to go to Japan and visit these stores to experience these bots, but it does raise some questions. What happens when the Wi-Fi goes or the connection has gone? What's the failure of these robots? Because once they're down, who's running the store? Anyway, that's it from me today, guys. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. I appreciate you getting caught up on the latest and greatest virtual reality news. Please subscribe to the channel. Stick around for next time. Happy gaming, guys. Good day.